Law enforcement is on high alert due to a sharp increase in the number of threats this holiday season. And a top official in the Justice Department explained the war in the Middle East and the current political environment are posing a major challenge to U.S. security officials. Justin Finch is here for you now with the story. This morning, with three days before Christmas, law enforcement on alert. Reporting the most challenging threat environment since 9-11. Many of the threats tied to the ongoing war between Israel and Hamas. Since October 7th, the FBI has received more than 1,800 reports of threats or other types of tips or leads that are somehow related to or have a nexus to the current conflict in Israel and Gaza. Officials also reporting an unprecedented surge in threats to public officials, including election officials and judges. Agents now investigating violent threats against the Colorado Supreme Court after its ruling disqualifying former President Trump from running for office, citing his alleged role in the January 6th insurrection. Trump is expected to appeal that ruling to the U.S. Supreme Court as soon as next week. Meanwhile, the Justice Department has filed new documents in one of the criminal cases against Trump, in which special counsel Jack Smith argues the Supreme Court should quickly take up the case over whether Trump is immune from charges in the January 6th election interference case. They want to silence me because I will never let them silence you. And in the end, they're not after me, they're after you. On the campaign trail, former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley enjoying a bounce in recent polls appears to be sharpening her attacks on Trump. Everybody knows four more years of chaos, we won't survive it. In Iowa yesterday, Haley took issue with Trump's character, saying we need a president who's a role model. I don't like the discourse that we have. I don't like the chaos and the insanity we feel like we're in. I don't like the rhetoric he gives. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.